Hello everybody, love and light to you. We're going to do a three card draw. This is your past, present and future for your tarot. Okay, this card represents the past. All the cards have been dedicated to somebody who might need a bit of clarity or a little bit of, um, a little bit of understanding. Okay. Ace of Swords. Right. For this, first of all, this sword actually says triumph. So what this is saying is that you've had big ideas, you've had big ventures that you wanted to um, work on, wanted to achieve. And what has happened is something along the way has made you have to change direction or maybe put off the idea. Maybe this is children. Maybe it's... I think it's more career-wise. So it's something that means a lot to you that you've had to rethink things. Because it's saying inner clarity, it's rethinking an idea and clouded judgment. Now the clouded judgment might not be from you, it might be from others. So I think this big idea or whatever you wanted to do, your path in life, I think maybe it was shot down a little bit. Perhaps um, people didn't think that you were up to it. And I think somewhere along the line, you've had to change direction and rethink the whole thing. Okay. But what this is saying is that there is opportunities. You're being guided by this hand. This hand is basically the hand of the divine. It's saying that there are angels there are your spirit guide there are loved ones you have divine help and this is going to give you the strength and the power along with your intellect which is the crown at the top this represents your intellect and you can go forward it's giving you the power the strength and the conviction okay so don't worry about having to change directions because many great things has been achieved just by rethinking sitting down and doing something a little different okay but they're saying that there's plenty of opportunity and you've got the backing and the strength and the brains to do it but it's not going to be easy it's going to be a rocky road and you might get some of those doubters from the past rear their head to mock but you will have the last laugh okay this is, means a change of direction, doing something different, but this time it's a positive. You have a positive enforcement that you've got the smarts, you're capable of doing it, and you've got the strength of a divine help. So that's not too bad. Second one. Okay, now this is a seven of wands. <laughs> well, this is seven of wands reverse. So this means you're tired exhaustion um you're on the verge of i don't know giving up you're feeling slightly overwhelmed about something uh this has an emotional attachment to this one this one feels like uh, there's been a lot of hardship there's been a lot of having to be very resourceful in areas where you're not used to being so this could be taking over family finance or taking over an important role that you're not used to doing well this is saying that he's got two odd shoes on why has he got two odd shoes on but yet he's defending against all these ones that are coming up from the ground well that's pretty much saying he's been caught unaware so whoever this is, this person has been caught unaware. So this is a surprise. This wasn't something that was planned. But you're doing your very best and you're working very hard at it. I do believe on this case, this represents somebody. Um, this represents somebody I know very well. In fact, I think I was talking to them yesterday. This definitely represents them having to deal against an overwhelming tide of emotions and over 
overwhelming situation that you wasn't planned for and you was you was ill prepared for because you didn't know this was going to happen and you've got many obstacles that you're trying to defend against so that's what this is saying this is saying that you're you're out of your depth a little bit because this is new waters to you okay but you are armed and you are fighting your corner and you're defending your territory and your land so you're doing the very best you, you can do and you're doing a damn good job of it as well because you're still standing even if you have got odd shoes on all right don't worry about these obstacles obstacles are what obstacles are they're meant to get over they're meant to go around they're meant to be challenged and obstacles are there to challenge you so every time that you knock down an obstacle you get more empowered you get stronger knock down another one you're even stronger again and so on and so on and so on until there's no more challenges left apart from yourself and that my dear that's your greatest challenge once you can deal with your own obstacles okay once you can deal with those obstacles you will be totally empowered and you'll have the strength to overcome pretty much anything you have come really far and you have done really well. This card is telling you that. It's telling you that no matter what, even though you don't know what you were doing and you feel slightly lost at times, to the extent of putting on two different shoes, because it was a big surprise, you're fighting your corner and you're doing a very good job. And there's a lot of pride in this card. There's a lot of feeling, a lot of emotion that comes from this card as I talk. So, this card is saying that, is saying that you have come across and, and you're unprepared for a battle, and, but you fought your corner, you fought your territory and you defended to your best of your abilities and you should be proud of it, okay? Very proud of that at all. You've done really well and the strength that you will gain from this this battle's not quite over yet, but the most of it is. You've still got one or two obstacles that you've got to get rid of. And of course, there's yourself. But once you've got rid of those obstacles, once you've knocked them down, you'll get a little bit more clarity for you. And you'll be able to see things in a whole different perspective. Okay? So that's quite a good one. Okay, the next one. Six of Cups. Well... This one is, well, I think, I think this is quite linked to all of those because this is revisiting the past. This is childhood memories, innocence, joy. Yeah. It's kind of saying like, I've done some good deeds. I've done some deeds, but they haven't been recognized. You know, even when I was child, the most innocent of things that I did possibly wasn't seen in the right light that it was intended for. Okay? It's saying, like, I'm caring. I'm responsible. I have did my best. I, I've worn my heart on my sleeve. And it's saying that I, I'm very passionate and I like to do good things. I've got the will to do good things and I will do good things because... There is positive memories of me doing good things and some people some people really loving the idea that I was trying to do things above my age or punching above my weight. So as a child you you seem to be doing a lot of a lot of loving things, a lot of caring things around people um, around people that know and love you. And those little actions that you did, they were well received. And it takes you back to this lovely moment in your life where everything feels good and everything feels great. And you've got safety of love. You've got the safety of family. You've got the security of knowing that there's people around you. Well, because things have changed and you've had to fight a little bit, okay, and you've 
you've kind of lost a few of your obstacles. You're now looking back into the past and you're reliving a lot of things. But you know what? Seeing that this is the future card and you're looking back, it's pretty much saying that those feelings that you had saying that, is saying that you're home. Because these people on this card are standing outside of a castle. Your home is your castle. It's saying that you're coming home. And those good deeds, those feelings that you felt as a child, well, they could be so again. They'll be slightly different. But overall, you can have them same surroundings, those familiar, strong security that you get from your castle, from your home. That's all there, ready for you to sit at the top of the table. Okay? But you still have to keep doing these good deeds because this, these good deeds, these good things that you're doing is changing people's perception of you. Now remember those Downton Thomases and those people from the past. You're going to get those, and they're going to rear their ugly head if they haven't reared their heads already. And they're not going to think that you're up to the task. Well, you've already proven that you are. Okay? They've proven that you have the strength and the backing to do so. It's saying that there's more obstacles in the way and it's going to be rough. But you're big enough and you're strong enough to overcome every adversary. Alright? And you're going to prove a lot of people wrong. And you're going to get what you need. And get what you deserve. And that is security. Of the place that you know and you love. Okay? So they're quite powerful cards. But they all mean a positive uh, spin on everything. So there you go. Big ideas meant travel I think that came to pass rocky road ahead of you which it was and then you had to fight in a battle in a way that you were unprepared for and you did so and now you've just got to find yourself get rid of these few obstacles and then live in the castle with the safety and the protection that you have now provided okay so they're good cards if you've got any problems with these and how i've explained it i'll, I'll gladly explain it to you again but overall you've come a long way you've done a lot of fighting and you've done a lot of soul searching and you've done proved a lot of people wrong to you're almost ready to pick this card to take this card with you you're almost ready to execute the better times that await you you've had to fight it's been a struggle you've overcome many things and now you've got to see your worth and yoke the strength from the past and get your reward and your reward is happiness and that trumps any financial gain, romance or anything like that. This is what you need. You need that security. You need that bond, that family connection. And you're going to get it. You've already started it. You've returned home. That's what this card is saying. You were re returned home from foreign lands and you're greeted by family and you're already doing good deeds. So it's all positive stuff. Okay, well there you go, that's your three card draw. Um, I hope somebody can get benefit from that. Because I think I'm, I'm absolutely sure I know who this is for. Okay, and um, I'm sure that everything's going to turn out the way it's supposed to turn out. Well, love and light you all, I'll see you again.